Welcome back, in today's video I'll be showing you how to fix a game that won't open on a Windows 10 or 11 PC or laptop. I'll be showing you in Windows 11, but the tips will work in Windows 10 as well. We have plenty of methods to try, so hopefully one will help. Remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe if the video helps, let's get into the methods. The first method is to check that your PC or laptop meets the minimum hardware requirements for the game. If you've launched your game before you can skip this method, but if not, I'd recommend having a look online for the hardware you need to run it. Next we'll check if the game is running in the background, and this could prevent it from opening normally. To do this, open the task manager by searching for it in the search bar, and then in the processes tab, look for your game on the list. If your game is a Steam game, you can look for Steam as well. If you find either Steam or your game on the list, right click on it and select end task. Now try running your game again. Next, it's worth updating your game or checking for updates to see if there are any. This can be done in the store that you got it from or online. This will differ depending on each game, but it could help to fix any problems that are causing the game to not open. Now I would recommend thinking back to when the problem first appeared. If it has only just started to not open, perhaps there was a change you made. Maybe you installed some new software, changed some settings, or got some new hardware. Either way, if the timing of that caused the problem, then that could be the cause. Try and revert things to how they were to check if this was the case. The next method is similar to the last, and it is to remove any mods that you have or have just added that could be causing the problem. This is of course if you can remove mods outside the game. Mods can often cause problems as they become outdated quickly. Try running your game with no mods and then if that helps, start adding them one by one to find the mod that is causing the issue. We can now try verifying the game files if your game is from Steam. If it isn't, you can skip this method. Open Steam and then navigate to your library and find the game that isn't working. Right click on it and go to Properties. And then when the new window opens, choose Local Files from the left. Finally, select Verify Integrity of Game Files and the rest of the process should be automatic. Once it has completed, try your game again. Next, a simple system restart could help if you haven't done this already. A restart could help refresh a lot of the settings on your PC and it could help fix the problem. It's up to you if you want to try this now or at the end of the video, but if you do restart now, when you return to the video, we'll have a few more solutions to try. The next method is to update your graphics card drivers. If you're not sure how to do this, then click the card now to watch a separate video of mine that will go into detail as it will take too long to explain in this video for all the graphics card types. Next, it might be helpful to research your exact issue or error and game. If there are any forums relating to the game that you are having problems with, then this would be a good place to ask this question, as they should be in a better place to help. The next thing to try is to run your game as an administrator. Find your game on the desktop or in the search bar and right click on it and choose run as administrator if you can, see if this helps. A quick fix could be to ensure that when you run your games you have an active sound device, like headphones or speakers, connected and enabled. Some games might not work properly with no sound device connected. The final method I have is to uninstall and then reinstall the game. Make sure you back up any saves, game files or settings before doing this. To uninstall a game in Windows 10 or 11, search for Add or Remove Programs in the search bar and then find your game on the list and right click on it or click on the three dots icon and choose Uninstall. You can now reinstall the game from where you got it in the first place. Unfortunately those are all of the methods I have. As always I will keep the description updated with any new solutions I find and if any of you find a fix in the future then it would be great if you could return to the video and post it in the comments to help others. Click the card on screen now to watch a video of mine showing you 10 easy ways to speed up your Windows PC. If you have any questions then let me know in the comments below and if you did find today's video helpful remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe for more tips in the future. Be sure to stick around to see some of my other videos that you might be interested in. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in another video.